by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, even the darkest night will end, and the sun will rise and shine, and the sun will rise and shine. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله مدي فيوز أوف مدني شانل الحمد لله عز وجل You are watching Rise and Shine this morning الحمد لله It is a beautiful morning Let's go to the beautiful recitation of the glorious Quran. But my dear viewers of the channel, please do remember that the more good intentions you make, the more reward you shall gain. Make good intentions before listening to the Quran, the Quran Ipak. And also, my dear viewers of the channel, whilst the Quran is being recited, give your full attention to the recitation of the glorious Quran. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. ما الله تعالى كي بناه ما أتاه شيطان مردود س. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الله ك نام س شروع جو نهاية مهربان رحم والا. سماعون للكذب أكلون للصح. بدي جوت سنن والي. بڑے حرام خور فَإِن جَاءُوكَ فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ أَوْ أَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ وَإِن تُعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ فَلَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ شَيْئًا تو اگر تمہارے حضور حاضر ہوں تو ان میں فیصلہ فرماؤ یا ان سے مو پھیر لو اور اگر تم ان سے مو پھیر لو گے تو وہ تمہارا کچھ نہ بگاڑیں گے وَإِنْ حَكَمْتَ فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْقِسْطُ اور اگر ان میں فیصلہ فرماؤ تو انصاف سے فیصلہ کرو اِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقُسِطِينَ بے شک انصاف والے اللہ کو پسند ہیں وَكَيْفَ يُحَكِّمُونَكَ وَعِنْدَهُمُ التَّوْرَاتُ فِيهَا حُكْمُ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ يَتَوَلَّوْنَ مِن بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ اور وہ تم سے کیوں کر فیصلہ چاہیں گے حالانکہ ان کے پاس توریت ہے جس میں اللہ کا حکم موجود ہے بَئِ هَمَا یعنی اس کے باوجود اسی سے مو پھیرتے ہیں وَمَا أُولَا اور وہ ایمان لانے والے نہیں بے شک ہم نے توریت اتاری اس میں ہدایت اور نور ہے اس کے مطابق یہود کو حکم دیتے تھے ہمارے فرما بردار نبی اور عالم اور فقیح کہ ان سے کتاب اللہ کی حفاظت چاہی گئی تھی اور وہ اس پر گواہ تھے فَلَا تَخْشَوُن نَاسَ وَخْشَوْنِ وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا بِآیَاتِ ثَمَنًا قُلِيلًا تو لوگوں سے خوف نہ کرو اور مجھ سے ڈرو اور میری آیتوں کے بدلے زلیل قیمت نہ لو وَمَن لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فَأُولَا 
اولئک هم الكافرون اور جو اللہ کے اتارے پر حکم نہ کرے وہی لوگ کافر ہیں وكتبنا عليهم فيها ان النفس من نفس والعين بالعين والانف بالانف والاذن بالاذن والاذن بالاذن والسن بالسن والجروح قصاص اور ہم نے تورات میں ان پر واجب کیا کہ جان کے بدلے جان اور آنکھ کے بدلے آنکھ اور ناک کے بدلے ناک اور کان کے بدلے کان اور دانت کے بدلے دانت اور زخموں میں بدلا ہے فمن تصدق به فهو كفارت الله پھر جو دل کی خوشی سے بدلا کراوے تو وہ اس کا گناہ اتار دے گا ومن لم يحكم بما انزل الله فاولا اور جو اللہ کے اتارے پر حکم نہ کرے تو وہی لوگ ظالم ہیں الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وعلا آلہ وسلم Alhamdulillah, we have begun this morning by listening to the beautiful verses of the Holy Qur'an, the glorious Qur'an. Uh, something, Madhivyos, we need to make an attachment towards. Really, we need to have an attachment with the Qur'an. And something we do each and every single morning is, or we try to do, possibly every morning, whenever I do remember that is, is we go over the surahs of the glorious Qur'an which we have listened to. So we began with the first chapter which was Surah Al-Fatiha followed by Surah Al-Baqarah and then the third chapter Surah Ali Imran, the fourth chapter Surah An-Nisa and now my dear views of Madhidi Shalom, the fifth chapter of the glorious Qur'an we are on Surah Al-Ma'idah. But my dear views of Madhidi Shalom, Alhamdulillah Azzawajal, rise and shine. Let's move on to the Naad Sharif of the greatest of all mankind, the peace of our hearts and minds, the most generous and kind, the last and final prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the khatam nabiyyin the seal of all prophets, Allahu Akbar, the seal of prophethood, my dear viewers, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is impossible for there to be another prophet or messenger coming after him. He was the last, the final prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Whenever we say his name, we kiss our thumbs. It's also mentioned by Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So this is a practice, alhamdulillah, which is good out of love, out of respect to act upon this, to do this. And this is the beauty. It shows, doesn't it, how much we love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, in Islam, alhamdulillah, we have this close connection to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is one of the beauties that we love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا يُؤْمِنُ أَحَدُكُمْ حَتَّى أَكُونَ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ وَالِدِهِ وَوَلَدِهِ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ Until I am more beloved than his parents, his children and the entire mankind. We must love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than anybody else, more than anything else. Allah hu akbar, more than the world, my dear, the entire creation. We must love the greatest of mankind, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi wa Alhamdulillah, this is something which is specific and beautiful that Muslims have this close connection to their Prophet. We love our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and we should love our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And in order to have complete iman, proper iman, we must love Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam is very famous. Allah, la imana liman la muhabbata la. Very famous, my dear viewers, that 
Be aware, there is no Iman for such a person who has no love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, being Muslims, we have love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We love, what does it mean by we love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We love his practices, we love his character. Yes, we love his character. Uh, we love everything about him, so beautiful. Alhamdulillah, in every manner, just, just think, in what way? In his qualities, perfect. In, in truthfulness, perfect. In generosity, perfect. Whatever you may come up with, my dear viewers, physical beauty, perfect. In any way, in every way. Alhamdulillah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest, no doubt of all people. Really he is, and I can't, I can't stress this enough, my dear viewers. But no matter how much I say, it doesn't uh, truly give justice to how perfect Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam truly is. Alhamdulillah. Let's inshallah listen to a kalam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Ya Nabi, karam ho ya Nabi, ya Nabi, karam ho ya Nabi. قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو میری قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو اپنے در کی حاضری یا نبی درم ہو یا نبی یا نبی درم ہو یا نبی یا نبی مجھ کو مدینے میں بلا دا بار بار یا نبی مجھ کو مدینے میں بلا دا بار 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 آؤں بنے آخر مدینے میں مزار بار بار آؤں بنے آخر مدینے میں مزار یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی یا نبی قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو میری قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو اپنے در کی حاضری یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی کاش جب آؤں مدینے خوب تاری ہو جنو کاش جب آؤں مدینے خوب تاری ہو جنو ہو گریبا چاک سینا چاک دامن تار تار ہو گریبا چاک سینا چاک دامن تار تار یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی میری قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو اپنے در کی حاضری یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی ہو مدینہ ہی مدینہ ہر گھڑی بردے زبان ہو مدینہ ہی مدینہ ہر گھڑی برد زبان بس مدینے ہی کی ہو تقرار لب پر بار بار بس مدینے ہی کی ہو تقرار لب پر بار بار یا نبی میری قسمت میں بھی لکھ دو اپنے در کی حاضری یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی گمبد خزرا کی تھنڈی تھنڈی چھاؤں میں میرا گمبد خزرا کی تھنڈی تھنڈی چھاؤں میں میرا خاتمہ بالخیر ہو اے کاش میرے کردگار خاتمہ بالخیر ہو اے کاش میرے کردگار یا نبی یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی یا نبی کرم ہو یا نبی میری 
किस्मत में भी लिख दो मेरी किस्मत में भी लिख दो अपने दर की हाजिरी या नबी करम हो या नबी या नबी करम हो या नबी अरसाए महशर में आकाज रखना आप ही अरसाए महशर में आकाज रखना आप ही दामन अतार गे सरकार बेहद दागदार दामन अतार गे सरकार बेहद दागदार किस्मत में भी लिख दो मेरी किस्मत में भी लिख दो अपने दर की हाजिरी या नबी करम हो या नबी या नबी करम हो या नबी सल्लु अल हबीब सल्लल्लाहु तआला अला मुहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु तआला अलैहि وعلى اله وسلم اي فيوز اوف ذا شانل الحمد لله عز وجل يو ار واتشينج رايز ان شاين الله اكبر مي ماي قسمه ماي وات از ا ديستني بي ريتن تو فيزيت ان شاء الله عز وجل ذا بيوتيفول سيتي اوف المدينه المنوره تو جو اند فيزيت مكه المكرمه تو جو اند بيرفورم ذا عمره to do tawaf around the Kaaba al-Musharrafa, to kiss the blessed black stone, to kiss the Hajr al-Aswad, to drink the water from the well, which was, Allahu Akbar, which sprung, my dear viewers, from Hazrat Ismail alayhi salatu was salam, pressing his feet, against the floor, kicking his blessed foot against the floor to drink that and that continues that continues my dear viewers, that spring Alhamdulillah Azzurul continues to flow up until this day and millions of people are able to drink the Zamzam water May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to go to the mountains of Safa and Murwa Safa Madi viewers and Marwa, those mountains which Hazrat Hajir Anha had travelled, had run from one side to another side seven times. Allahu Akbar. The mountain of Safa upon which Rasulullah had stood and called out to the people openly, inviting them towards Islam. Those places were the blessed feet of so many. Prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would Allahu Akbar place their blessed feet on those places, at those specific places. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to go and visit such places. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, Allahumma Ameen. And I'm a day of the channel. Today's topic, time is of the essence. Um, but I've got a beautiful, a um, something which I read and I liked, you know, it, is is just something which gets you thinking. So I would like to share it with the rest of you. One person he states, he writes that what's normal, what's normal, the state that normal is getting dressed in clothes that you buy, that you purchase for work, and driving through traffic in a car you are still paying for. In order to get to the job that you need to pay for the clothes and this car and the home that's empty all day just so you can afford to live in it. Allahu Akbar. My dear viewers of Mother this is just something for us to think about because this is, this sums up, this sums up life. This sums up our modern day life for many people. I'm not saying everybody, but for many people. 
This is our life. First, my dear viewers of the news channel, subhanAllah, we are coming into this world and, you know, we are being nurtured by our parents. They, they, they give us an upbringing, subhanAllah. We reach the tender age, and this is for the United Kingdom, by the way. Um, other places, they begin school later. And uh, in fact, I'm not going to touch upon this topic. Nevertheless, my dear viewers, in the um, United Kingdom, we start at the age of what? Three nursery? At the age of three, four years of age. Five years, you know, we are going to school. All the way up until, up until we are 16 years of age and now up until 18 years of age. We are at school. Every single day other than the holidays, every single weekday, we are going to school and back. Every single day. Allahu Akbar. For how many years is that? If you were to work that out from 5 to 16, my dear viewers, or even to 18, that's what? About 13 or so years. For 13 years of our life, we are going back and forth to school. When we complete school, how much do we achieve? That's a big, you know, there's a big question mark right there, my dear viewers. How much do we achieve in 13 years? And for what we did achieve, many people say, yes, I've achieved a lot. For what we did achieve, how long did it need to take us for us to achieve that? So let's just say we've spent 13 years studying. Now we've finished, we're 18 years of age, we've finished our studies. Uh, 16 or 18, that's it, we've finished studying. Now what have I attained? Am I even able to have a proper conversation? Am I able to socialize? Uh, things which relate to real life. Real life. Am I able to understand the norms? Am I able to perform simple tasks? Uh, you know, big question marks. Has this 13 years of studying, has this qualified me to be able to get a job or now I need to go into further studying, depending on which job I wish to attain? So then it may be another, what, another five, three years, five years, six years possibly, in order to, you know, gain or get to that level where I wish to get, become a doctor, you know, a brilliant job, mashallah, you know, many options. Allahu Akbar. But how many years has it taken? And how many years could it have taken? This is, this is the brilliant question. How many years could it have taken? It said that, to yes, to master a science, to master something, is, it said it takes about 10,000 hours. But have we mastered any science by the time we are finished? Any particular science or art, science or art have we mastered any one of them? No, we need to go to further studies. We need to go to further studies. Even then, years and years of studies. My dear viewers of Madhani Channel, 10,000 hours to master something. But to gain a good grasp, a good understanding, it takes about 100 hours. It takes about 100 hours. So we need to ask ourselves that. We've spent all of these years. Yes, I went to school too. We've spent all of these years in school. How much have I truly attained? This is a very, very important question. And after we go to school, we, we, uh, those who are lucky, those who are quite fortunate, you see, it's not always based on intelligence, but many times, yes, intelligence gets you there. Uh, many times it, it wouldn't. Uh, qualifications would sometimes get there, sometimes it wouldn't. There are many people who will go to university. And they have attained a very good, as you would say, a degree, honours, whatever it may be. But yet they do not get a job. Yet they are jobless. They do not have a job. So they spent more years now and now they still don't have a job. Many people would have a job. Many of them would get a job. And I think this description describes many people in this day and age. I'm speaking more towards the United Kingdom. More about those individuals who are living in the United Kingdom, the Western world generally. Because, the, you know, these are the things. And in other places to some effect. I'll read this quote out again. That normal, what is normal? What is normal life? When a person is going to get a job, what is normal life for that person? Normal is getting dressed 
in clothes that you buy for work. So now we go and get a job, but why do we get a job? We get a job to take money, to gain money to provide for our families, to provide for ourselves. Let's just say you don't have a family. Just even just to provide for ourselves. This is why we go to work. But it's normal yet, it's normal, my dear viewers, that we, to go to work, we are, what, purchasing such clothes. We are purchasing such clothes to go to work. These will be specifically clothes we have purchased to wear at work. Allahu Akbar. These clothes are for work. Similarly, we are, uh, I will continue with the, uh, and driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for. Nowadays, we don't even own many of the cars we are driving. We don't own the car we are driving. But that car, we are traveling in that car to go to work. And why are we working? To pay for those clothes, which we are using for work. To pay for that car which we don't own, which we don't own, which gets us to work, and to pay for our house, which is empty most of the day, just in order for us to be able to live in it. This is this is just something to for us to think about. That wow, this is the situation, this is the life we are living. And we see that many people they spend a lot of money, a lot of money. And yes, you should dress nice. That's completely fair. That's completely understandable. But these are work clothes. These are work clothes. And we go to work to provide for ourselves. But what are we doing? We are getting uh, a job to pay for our job. In a way, in, in many ways. And some people would disagree with something which is completely understandable. But my dear viewers, this is something to think about. And... We spend our time uh, at work. How much time do we spend at work? And what will happen? We'll continue to go to work until either we've uh, maybe we've gone into a business and you're able to rest and relax. But for the majority of the people, they're working for somebody else until they're possibly quite old, they get a pension or until they die. So this is how their life is spent. Now, how long does a person have in his life? How much time does a person have in his life? I've got some, um, these may be a little outdated. This is from many years ago. I've had this, my views on the channel. But it stated that a person, he lives about 78 years on average. A person lives on average about 78 years. So up until 80 years of age, on average, 28.3 years he spends sleeping. That's for a person who sleeps eight hours a day. And many of us wouldn't sleep eight hours a day, we'll sleep more. So people will either go to sleep at nine o'clock and wake up what eight, seven o'clock in the morning. They would sleep possibly 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Um, they would wake up later. So people would sleep nine hours. Some say, no, I need to at least sleep nine hours, ten hours, maybe, Allahu alam. But a person who sleeps eight hours, and this is a good amount, eight hours of sleep, is a third of our day, which is a third of our life. Which is about a third of our life, my dear viewers. So on average, a person is spending about 30 years Let's just go by these figures, 28.3 years just sleeping. This is your life. Your life is spent sleeping 28.3 years approximately. 10.8 years approximately are spent working. 10.5 years are spent at our jobs. And this is all together I'm referring to. Meaning, if you're working eight hours a day, I mean, don't refer that to that as a full day, no. 
we add all of the hours you've been at work. All of the hours. So three days will become one full day. So if you work eight hours for three days, that's eight, 16, 24 hours. And there's 24 hours in a day. So it's like you've worked for an entire day over three days. So over our entire life, we are working about 10, 10 and a half years. 10 and a half years. It continues nine years. Nine years are spent on TV and social media. Nine years of our life are spent on TV and social media. And my dear viewers, uh, some, sometimes we think, no, how could this be? No, I don't watch that much TV. And especially people who have, you know, all these PlayStations and these consoles, whatever they may be. Uh, Allahu Akbar, really. Well, whilst they're playing, and if they're, you can even check the statistics, how much time you've spent on it. And it will be months, some, some years. And they don't even realize. One person was saying it to me just, just the other day. He was saying that, you know, um, yes, I need, I need to, but we were speaking about reading. So I was encouraging him to read. And he says, yeah, and I was on the, whatever console he was on, you know, new console which is out. He was playing on the console. And he says, I didn't even realize it was what, two, three o'clock in the morning. And I was thinking, wow. He was playing from about eight o'clock to about two, three o'clock in the morning. Four, five hours gone like that. Just playing on the console. This is what's happening. You're so into something, you forget everything around you. You're forgetting about reality. I remember as a kid, my dear viewers, and this is something I would, I would, you know, take advice from this. I remember as a kid, you know, kids, we used to play on the consoles, etc. And our mother used to tell us, do this, do that. And sometimes we didn't even realize somebody was speaking to us. Really. This is, this is the reality. Now sometimes we are so into the game, whatever game it may be, you know, somebody is speaking, we don't even realize our own mother is speaking to us. And a few years down the line, your, your mother may not be there. This time and time is of the essence, really. Time is of essence. Whilst you have your mother, whilst you have your father, whilst you have your parents, these, this is for people who are parents themselves too. You may be parents yourselves too. And you are fortunate to have your own parents still with you. Make the most of this time. Don't waste this time. Make the most of this time. Continuing with these facts. Um, six years are spent on chores, cleaning here and there, etc. Four years eating and drinking. We spend so much time on, uh, on eating and drinking. And my dear viewers, these, this is definitely outdated. The reason being is that this is going to be much higher now. The reason being is now it's, it's a norm for us that we don't only just eat and drink at home anymore. Now it's we always have to go out and eat and drink. And many a time, yes, let's go to a different city. So if I may be living in Leeds, let's go to Manchester, let's go to Birmingham, let's go to London, just for a special restaurant. And rarely we will go all the way to London, in fact. That's a bit of an over-exaggeration. But yes, going to other cities one or two hours away, just for a drive, you know, we'll get a drive and we'll also get a meal, a nice meal. So now just that comm commuting, that increases so much more. That time spent on food has more than doubled or tripled the amount of time we are spending on eating and drinking. So it says four years, even if we were to go by this, four years eating and drinking. Then three and a half years on education. Three and a half years education. Two and a half years um, cleaning ourselves, makeup, etc. You know, whatever people do nowadays. And it could even be brushing our teeth, washing our faces uh, each morning. Two and a half years shopping. One and a half year in childcare and 1.3 years commuting, traveling back and forth, whether that to be to work or to anywhere else. And do you know how much time we have left from 78 years, if you live 78 years, how much time you have just for yourself? How much time we have just for ourselves? We have nine years. Allahu Akbar, nine years, my dear viewers. 
Think of a nine-year-old. Do you know any nine-year-old? Even when you were nine, think of a nine-year-old. That's what life is. That's life. Nine years of life. Yes, he may live to be 78 years of age. But taking away all of these other things we are doing leaves us with what? A mere nine years. My viewers, let's go to our daily reminder. And then inshallah, we shall come back to this topic. Sallu ala al-habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah. By the grace of Allah. By the grace of Allah. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسمكي بي وزف مدري شل سيدنا أبو حجاج سمايلي رحمة الله تعالى لأن ريت that the holy prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم said when the dead person is laid into the grave the grave says to him may you be destroyed why did you forget me didn't you know that I am the home of troubles and darkness? Why you used to walk on me arrogantly? If the deceased is pious, a voice from the unseen says, O oh, grave, he is one of those who always spread goodness and prevented evil. The grave says, If it is so, I will become a garden for him. The body of the person then becomes noor and his soul goes towards the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Akbar. Respected viewers of Madani Shainat, from this narration we learn that we should not be negligent of our dark grave. We should take lessons from those who have already departed from this mortal world. We should not be negligent of our good deeds accountability of the grave, questions of the grave. And in this narration, there is also a great glad tiding for those they invite towards goodness. They forbid from evil. Those they call people towards righteousness. Those they give this, those they give bayanat. Those they travel in Madani Qafili to invite towards righteousness. Respected viewers of Madani Shal, inshaAllah Azza wa Jal, they will hear the sound in the grave which will be in their favor and insha'Allah a success will be waiting for them. So try to join this beautiful atmosphere of Dawati Islami and try to come and travel in Madani Qafili so you can also invite towards righteousness and you can also forbid from evil. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam By the grace of Allah by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. My dear viewers of Madrid channel, you are watching Rise and Shine, mashallah. That was our daily reminder. We have with us online via video, mashallah, our Hafiz Rafaqat Sahib. Hafsa, time, that this is the topic. Time is of the essence, uh, the importance of time and how much we actually have. So after all of these, removing all of these things, I don't know if you're watching, uh, approximately 28 years sleeping, 10, uh, 10 or so years working, nine years on social media, TV, etc. Six years doing our shows, four years eating, drinking, etc., 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 which leaves us with only nine years of life. Nine years of shocking. shocking. It, you know, and then uh, them nine years, if we spend them in other useless things as well, or not even doing anything, you know, how do we uh, spend them nine years? You know, at least if we can spend them nine years in the worship of Allah, so that, that would be brilliant. Now, if you add a couple of more hours every day to your sleep, then just imagine how many years that's going to drop down to. Uh, nevertheless, half a sub, I don't know if you heard the quote, I would like to read, to read the quote for you again, just generally to ponder, to think about what life is, how we are spending our life. One person, I just read this quote, uh, and I'm reading this now out to you. Normal is getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work. Normal, what is normal? What is normal life? To get dressed in clothes 
that you buy for work and driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for. Driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for. In order to get to the job that you need to pay for the clothes and the car and the home that is empty all day just so you can afford to live in it. Hafsa, what do you think of that? If you, if you did understand it. Um, no, the way you explained it, mashallah. Normally I would say how I explained it to you properly. But uh, mashallah, you have explained it to me properly. And the way I understood it, you see a lot of people are in this uh, setup as well. You know, we drive cars and probably they're, they're going to be on lease or on, on uh, you know, monthlies. Your home is going to be on a mortgage. And, you know, exactly what you said, mashallah. And, you know, we need to understand that, you know, our priority is not this life in this world. Our yes. priority is the hereafter. And, you know, because of the topic today, time is on, uh, is on of an essence. Time is very important. We, we, we spend that much time trying to make an easier life in this world, a better, much easier life in this world. What about the hereafter? We need to spend exactly. a bit more time building our hereafter as well. I have some explanation spot on exactly because this basically means that our life is just evolved around our jobs. That's all it is. This is how we are spending our life. We're going to school, universities, working for the rest of our lives. And then that's it, you retire and you're going to die. Uh, but, but, alhamdulillah, being Muslims, we have the Quran and the Sunnah. We have been told that there's also worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have been told that we have an akhirah. And that akhirah, you know, inshallah, uh, the, for some, for the Muslims that is, and those who believe, Alhamdulillah, we have eternal paradise, which forever, salvation, happiness, eternal bliss and happiness. So Alhamdulillah, there is a greater purpose, something to be working for. Is this our lives? Is this how we're going to, gee? How's See, we spend, you know, all this time and effort making a better life in this world, but there's problems, there's these, you know, there's, there's so many problems that we have in this life and we are still spending this precious time you know, trying to make a better life in this world. Spend that time making a better life of the hereafter. You know, as Muslims, Alhamdulillah, we believe that well, that we'll be brought back to life again, we'll be judged. And our real destination is paradise, not the, mm. not the life of this world. Yes, we have to work in this world, but, you know, to make your work ibadat for you as well. And Alhamdulillah, as well, acting upon the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, working for the deen. You know, this is what, you know, you'll be, you'll be working for the, like, for example, yourself and a lot of other people, you know, our, our work is our deen. And that's how mm. it should be. You know, even if you work in a factory, you, are, you have your own business, you know, try to have the intention that you're doing it for, for the sake of the deen. That will be ibadat for you as well. MashaAllah, beautiful Hafizab. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah ta'ala grant you, inshallah, eternal happiness, MashaAllah. Um, Jazakallahu khaira Hafizab. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, we are going to go to the daily hadith. Sallu ala al-habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, today we will be listening to a hadith which is based upon the virtues of miswak. It is narrated that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wasallam has stated, whoever takes a bath on Friday, performs miswak, applies itr, wears fine clothing, and then comes to the masjid and does not step over people, but in fact performs salah and remains silent after the arrival of the imam, that is during the khutbah, until the completion of salah. There is great benefits which have been narrated in this hadith. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam states that Allah Azza wa Jal forgives all of his sins that were committed during that week. Dear viewers of Madani channel, 
May Allah Azza wa Jal help us attain these blessings and make us pray Friday prayer in such a manner that all of our sins are forgiven. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Nine years, if we're lucky that is. Nine years is all you have. Nine years is all we have, my dear viewers of Allah, inshallah. We need, we need to make the most of this. And to, subhanAllah, uh, to be truthful, we need to increase that. What do I mean by increase that? I mean reducing other things. Because if you were to live like this, then what is nine years? Really, what is nine years, my dear viewers? So if we're spending 10 years of our life on TV and social media, we definitely need to cut this down. Which would be what? How many hours are we spending daily? Two, three hours? Cut that down. Really cut that down. Make it much less. And Alhamdulillah, one of the beauties of Madani channel is, you know, you may be watching TV, but at the same time, Alhamdulillah, you're learning about the deen. At the same time, you are learning about the religion, about masail, about our religion, which is a form of worship. Seeking ilm deen is a form of worship and something which is very, very important. So, you know, these things, my dear viewers, um, try to make the most of them. So if you're watching TV, Alhamdulillah, watch Madani channel. Why? You'll be learning things. Everybody has to go to work. You know, we all have to work. So remember, try to work, but try to make that a form of worship, meaning recite the Rouge Sharif as much as possible. Have good intentions for working. Make sure your means of income is halal. Make sure your means of income is halal. And don't work too many extra hours just for extra money. No, think to yourself, that, Alhamdulillah, am I earning enough? Uh, is this good enough? Is this supporting my family? And Alhamdulillah, yes, continue as you are. Don't you know, do so many extra hours. And work typical hours. Now, sadly, there was uh, an occurrence, you know, a few days ago. Um, there was this person who he worked very, very hard. Everyone was saying, you know, these, these people, their father worked so hard. He worked so hard, my dear viewers, that, you know, even during the month of Ramadan, he wouldn't go home and everybody else would go home uh, to have the iftar or whatever it may be. He would just take a day or a bit of food with him to open his fast. He would day, during the nights he would have a separate job, during the days he would have a separate job. And you know, some people have two, three jobs. Where they're sleeping for a few hours, they're coming home, that's it, the rest of their days are at work. And this person, he worked at this, he worked very, very hard. He built something. He, he became a well-known, a reputable, a respectable, a respectable figure in society. You know, he had a few businesses. Then he has children who have grown up. One child suddenly had passed away. Um, another child, well, who they're, they're no longer children anymore, but now they're grown-ups, but it's son of his. Uh, you know, another son, something's happened. That person's left. Another son, something else has happened. And people say, oh, his children, they are so bad. Those children who may have done wrong, that they are so bad. They, why? Because their father has worked so hard, and now look at them. Now they're all, they're all possibly gone, you can say. Now they're all gone. What did his father do it for? This is what we need to ask for. What are we doing it for? Are we doing it for our children? This is what we all say. We say, look, I'm doing it for my children. What makes you think your children need money? What makes you think your children need money? Yes, those things which are the essentials, which they need to be provided for. But what makes you think, that, no, my dear viewers, they need you, they need your time. They need you to spend time with them. This is what your children need. They don't just need money with your absence. They never see you, money is always coming in. And they're going about here and there, spending, and then when they become older, they're detached from you. And you think, why do my children not do nothing? Why do my children never call me? You know, this is all I've done. I've spent my entire life working for my children. Look the way my children are speaking. 
to me. This is how they're speaking to me. My dear viewers of Madani channel, don't just work for your children. Yes, we are working for ourselves, we are working for our children, but don't let it just be work, no. Give your children time, spend time with them. This is the most important thing. Because that time may come when you think, I've done all of this for my children, look what's happened. Now, even though they've got money, they've got bad habits. They probably they've gone to prison. Something's happened to them. Allah Akbar, now I've got nothing. So what were you working for your entire life? Time is up. Time is of essence. Time is up as usual. Time will always pass by. The time for our deaths will come any time to my dear viewers. And that's all for now, nevertheless. And inshallah, we shall be returning tomorrow with more rise and shine. But whatever the situation, my dear viewers, always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yes, the Ru Sharif too, my dear viewers. Inshallah, we shall speak more on that another time. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah. By the grace of Allah. Even the darkest night will end. And the sun will rise and shine. And the sun will rise and shine